Welcome Tauruses. Uh, let's check out what is coming up for you Tauruses. Uh, alrighty, so Tauruses, uh, welcome to the year 2020 to your business and finance reading. Um, wow, sorry. Well, let's see what is coming in. It's beautiful. First quarter, January is going to be good. January and June is going to be good. Um, you are in your own energy vibration reading and the energy of the year. Um, you begin the second quarter and this is good. You are dealing with a lot of uh, people in this quarter, which is just so, so unbelievable. Um, you're dealing with the air sign people. You are dealing with, um, the, um, uh, Librans, Aquarians, uh, um, yeah, Librans and Aquarian. You're dealing with the Librans and the Aquarian. So, wow. Some of you could be lawyers. Some sort of a complication is here and is going to be resolving. Lawyers and doctors are in the second half. Um, accountants in the first half. Um, business people in the first half. So let's go in your reading. So the, um, in January, the pure, of power of the hair okay so january you have an air energy and you're speaking your truth okay um whatever is happening and transpiring your intellect and communication both internal and external glance with clarity okay now is the time to cut through any dust uh, tangent web to reveal the core of the issue allow yourself the, the quiet and solitude need to hear and interpret the inner voice yearning to be set free and stay open to messages making their way to you from the universe okay so you're going to be using the sword of truth to cut through whatever um in uh, unclear things that is happening once your mind is set speak freely and fiercely and trust that your message will be heard as an intention okay so this is good um the month of january is going to be exceeding um your awareness um of what is happening because you're going to be making a whole lot of change and this changes is going to be powerful okay so january is going to be a powerful month because you're cutting through some sort of a deceptiveness uh, um, that was created and you're using your sword of truth to speak up about something that has been going on in the work environment and that is going to be good now february is good um in february we have the long and gated earth the long and gated earth is the eight of coins it's money coming in okay so in february money is going to be coming in if you're looking for a job you're going to be receiving a job um payouts are going to be coming in in february with business and that sort of a thing so your personal production our productive to have tight is going to be heightened and have its peak in february so february a lot of you are going to be focusing on your work and really in your work and making a lot of money while you make and may have time um to push through all your deadlines okay and this is going to be good you're being uh, called to settle down into peace and a place where you can work and focus on your future so this is good so a lot of you could be um working um who have their own business i see that this is going to be good because it's february is the month that you're going to be really taking your power back and it's going to be resolving and creating a lot of uh, financial stability for yourself so money is in the month of february so it could be unexpected payouts that sort of a situation can also come up okay in a month of march and end uh, okay achieve uh, achievement uh, um so march is going to be a month of achievement okay so this is achievement in the air energy because it is in the six of swords uh, and much needed clarity is available to you now if you listen closely you can tune in to the smaller ways you can change uh, how you communicate with yourself and others that will um, create big changes down the road. Okay. Celebrate each and every um, one for um, resolving an issue and a situation. Okay. All words are magical words and uh, um, fine line how you arrange them to swift the spelling 
and you can change your life by changing the intellectual framework of who you are. So this is really, really powerful because what is transpiring and is happening is that you are ending the way you communicate in business and changing it up. And by doing that, you're going to be creating a lot of wealth and stability in the first quarter of the year. So this is a really positive situation because it's about achievement, okay? So you achieve and accomplish something and you're leaving that in March and you're moving on. Is it a job? If you, are you going to be leaving your job or, or if you finish a project, okay? That is, a, but some sort of a communication that was needed. You're going to be communicating and achieving what it is that you were trying to achieve. So this is powerful. Go for it. As we look at the second quarter, April, May, and June, we have another air energy in the month of uh, April. And this air energy is chaos. People are um, trying to ca uh, create chaos. And I see you're going to be using the sword of truth to cut through this chaos, okay? So some of you could be having racing thoughts, inner conflicts, anxiety could be coming up for you at the workplace, okay? This is not an easy time in the month of April, but the good news is it is just that a moment in time, okay? So, you know, don't take it seriously. Just get out of the chaos, all right? Just try to free your mind, okay? While it may seem as if your ability to reason is gone forever. The truth is that this is simply not good um, energies for thinking things through, okay? So sometimes you can't focus on your work because there is so much chaos, so much situation that is going on um, in, you know, at the workplace that you can't focus on your work, okay? Your mind needs to rest, okay? So stop trying to figure out things and focus on um, the obs, the observing, um, and the, the most obvious things and detach yourself from the outcome. Okay. The missing pieces of information you need with, you will find when you are ready. So sometimes it's as if a month comes up where you can't focus. There's just so much things that is happening around you in the workplace. Um, people and situation that is being created around you. And, you know, you, you might lose your focus, but, um, don't give up hope because this is going to be okay. It is just that this month of uh, April, maybe because you have a lot to do and you don't even know where to start. All right. So don't take it um, serious. It's, it's, it's just inner conflicts and a lot of conflicts in situation, a lot of chaos, chaos. All right. In um, April, as we look at May, we um, may become very stable. Okay. So after the chaos, uh, is the calm and stability in here, all right? So um, a regular, um, regular, regular means of value, bringing you fresh sense of mental stability. So the month of April, uh, you had no mental stability, okay? And with an established moral and intellectual framework to view what is going on, your mind can rest and focus more on the navigating through the judgmental route that you need to take, okay? So be sure to take time to hear your inner voice, whatever is happening and transpiring. So sometimes we do that, have that, but after the chaos, so, um, there was a calm. After the chaos, there was a calm and people are seeing what was happening and transpiring. So June, you're ending this um, first half of the year really really positive really really um positive um because in june you're setting your sight and making plans and leading the way to build your new future okay so this is this is like you have gone through all of these chaos and these things um it begins um march april may and then now in june finally finally because march april may is when people are finishing off their um accounting they they have to um, do stock check that sort of a thing, a whole lot of chaos that some of you were going through. And as you reach uh, to June, I see your set inside. So if you want to apply for a management position in June, it's a yes, you are going to be receiving this. Okay. You stand in a um, magnificent uh, um, uh, method. Everything has uh, been carefully planned and executed. 
from the structure itself to um, the, the discovery of finishes. So through a window, you can see a rugged land space. And that rugged land space remind, remind you how um, it was the months before. But now, as you look at this chair, it's as if, uh, as you look at this chair, it's as if you have uh, overcome all that was happening in January um, till May. And now you are seated at the top of your throne. And that is where you're coming from, the ragged field where you are trying to resolve and climb through the terrain in order to get in um, in this company, this business. So it could be that if some of you um, was promoted and you you, you saw things that, uh, oh my God, you had to resolve a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of things, a whole lot of meetings, that sort of a thing. And now you finally have balance because whenever you change jobs or change position in a company, um, this is what you all have to go through in order. And it's always June when things start to settle down. Okay, so this is good. Now, when we look at the second half of the year, we're going to be looking at the third quarter. So your your own energy is here in the third quarter. This is so beautiful. And what is happening and transpiring is that uh, with your own energy, a lot of you businessmen are going to be regaining balance in your business. Okay. Um, and so a lot of you are going to be reaching out for guidance, um, going within, um, you know, connecting with other people, trying to figure out uh, what is going on, what is the next direction, creating a um, new process and business flow in your company, even the call and stepping in the universe flow of wisdom. OK, so this is good because this is when um, because of the balance that come in June. Now in July, you're going to be start preparing for the rest of the half year, okay? So you have come to a rugged, rugged time Um, because January, you really put down your foot. So you could be, you know, started at a new company and you realize uh, um, the horrible that this company needs some real um, reconstruction or um, reorganization. And uh, um, you are now putting down your foot and now you're balancing out the situation and starting um, this second period, okay? In the month of August, some sort of an offer is going to be coming in. So in the month of August, you have the energy of the initial of wisdom. Um, this is about uh, um, the fire energy, okay? So um, the offers, a lot of you, if you're applying for a job, um, try it in um, um, the month of uh, um uh august okay so a lot of you had a fork in the road um it's coming in view but um there are no um signposts and no maps okay you must um quiet your mind and let go of the fear of failing in order to choose a part okay try to do this without missing a step without uh, pursuing a contemptation with other people okay the most important thing at this time is to keep moving forward once you move um you make your move you will find your way okay so doors trust your instinct so the month of august uh, trust your instinct because it's as if uh, you are going to be leaving applying for a job whatever is happening leaving applying for a job however this is transpiring and happening and um, you're worried to make that step, but they're saying, yes, make the step. Um, if even it looks as if a fork is in the road, yes, make the step. So we are looking at the month of September and um, a new beginning is going to be coming up in September. This is the pure of power. So you're going to be having the power within your hands in order to make the changes that you wanted to make. Okay. Um, you hold the power of creation, the life of the, your own dream. So you can create and rebuild your life. Uh, these may be big uh, external public moves to make a private inner shift, uh, both with, with the, you and the world. Okay. Trust your gut to tell you where to, um, take the next step. Okay. Create solution, um, to, um, the long-standing issues 
that was happening on the work floor and a pair, you know, just a pair, so really just be quiet and, and suddenly the information will come to how to resolve whatever the problem and the issues is that is going on on the work floor. Try not to overthink them and let them boggle you down. When you leave your work, you leave your work, you go home and you rest, okay? Don't think about work. A lot of people take their work home is the wrong thing. Try not to overthink anything and let it go, okay? If your intuition is attuned to the frequency of the universe, you can follow it to move forward with confidence in all area of your life. So a new start is going to be coming up. A lot of you, if you decide to apply for a new job in the third quarter, that is when all the doors are going to be opening up uh, and you need to release yourself from fear because with fear, fear is holding you back. You need to flow and go with the flow and access. So the third quarter is going to be good when it comes on to applying for jobs. Okay. Now the lawyers and doctors are going to be having some sort of an issue in the uh, third quarter, the third quarter. Um, uh, um, some sort of an issue is in the third quarter, but you're going to be ending up, uh, um, good anyway. Um, it doesn't really matter the issues and the problems that is coming up in the third quarter because you're going to be achieving what you have accomplished, set out to accomplish. So what are we seeing? Um, what is happening? So first we are looking at uh, the king. The king of swords. Now, a lot of you who are doctors or lawyers could be having some sort of a problem. And this is air of air. Okay. So, um, this is coming up as lawyer or doctor. I professional people could be having some sort of a problem in, um, the, uh, month of October and November. So I see in October, some of you air of air, you're trying to stretch and analyze a situation and communicate very clearly. So you're taking on the energy of the king of swords. Okay. Some of you could be having to deal with an Aquarian, some sort of a corrupt, um, um, situation with corruptcy. You have the advantage of a bird's eye view on your situation. Allow, allow yourself to access and calculate and plan out your next step. Okay. With crystal clear vision and focus, do not allow yourself to be rushed into making any decision, okay? Advising you people, um, if you don't think that you have all the information you need, you don't need to wait until the old picture comes in, um, interview, um, by announcing your direction to yourself and others. Your voice is more powerful than you think. Use it wisely. So a lot of you Tauruses are going to be having this powerful, powerful energy where you are going to be using, um, stretching and analyzing uh, what you communicate and how you communicate. So you could have some sort of a legal issue and legal problem because I see you are going to be dealing with some sort of a um, legal issue. Aquarian is, has to do with legal issues. Okay. So communication is going to be the, the, um, key and you're going to be stretching and realizing what you communicate in the month of October. Okay. November, November, you have the energy of, um, water of hair. Now water of hair is the energy of uh, the nurture of communication. Now, this is the energy of the nurture of communication. This is a strategize communication. This is the nurturing of communication. So that is a more softer way. Okay. So your heart is going to be longing to be heard and you have the emotional clarity to put this uh, emerald into the words. Okay. So a lot of you wants to out something. A lot of you wants to speak up about something. So this is about, um, November applying for a job. So, um, you are, you know, you are properly, um, you know, speaking up, but yet still, um, you know, your heart longs to speak up and, um, this is about you applying for a job. Okay. So, um, this is you using that nice communication voice and also the way you see things and communicating. And this is what is going to be landing you this job. So anyone who is looking for a job or, um, you know, um, 
this is a job, but this is also a performance review. It is going to be good. Okay. And if it's a job, yes, you're going to be receiving the job. So if you are applying for a job in November, um, whether you're a man or a woman, um, you are going to get a job and the promotion is going to be coming to you. So it is going to be good. So November is going to be the best month to apply for a job. Um, November is going to be the best month for a performance review is going to be very, very good. Now, as we look at the last month of December, we have achievement. So a lot of you are going to be achieving um, um, a, a whole lot of things. Performance review is going to be good. You could be receiving promotion, that sort of a thing. You're anxious or beginning to reveal themselves uh, as much as uh, then just good guesses okay so some of you were um you know going by guessing guessing a situation but your anxious is going to be kicking in in this year and it's going to be pushing you so you have got um you know like strong in annoying and you yawn um to really let people hear what you have and see um your skills and that is going to be bringing you a lot of opportunities so in december a lot of opportunities is going to be standing at your door. It's going to be beckoning at your door. This is going to be powerful. This is going to be good. You're going to be pushing yourself to into a real positive alignment, a real positive place. This is going to be really wonderful. And it is going to be created a wonderful year for you guys. I got to go. I love you. Um, if you would like to see the extended of this reading, um, please use... Um, the blue button to join and you can pick up these reading these extended or there come back each and every month to in order to listen to find out what is going to be happening what is the energy of this month and how you can use this to help um out other people so um please um share this video by thumbs up thumbs up leave a message it's going to be a powerful year you start out with a sword communicating and you are ending up with a six um of ones which is achieving a whole lot in this year i love you guys namaste until next time i'll see you on the other side if not namaste